trigonometric ratio. Previously, we have defined the six trigonometric functions with the help of the unit circle. Now, let's use this definition as we determine the six trigonometric ratios in a right triangle. So from the unit circle, we will get the right triangle and determine the six trigonometric ratios. Looking at the figure in the left, we consider angle theta as our reference angle. While the opposite side of angle theta in this figure is side y. The adjacent side of the reference angle is side x, while the hypotenuse in this figure is the radius r. Now let's have some example in determining the opposite side, the adjacent side of the reference angle, including the hypotenuse. So direction, determine the measurement of the opposite side the adjacent side and the hypotenuse of the given reference angle. Number one, the hypotenuse in this figure, which is opposite over 90 degrees angle, is 5 inches, while the opposite side of our reference angle theta measures 4 inches, and the adjacent side to this reference angle is 3 inches. Our hypotenuse is 5 inches, opposite side of our angle theta is 4 inches, and the adjacent side of our angle theta is 3 inches. Number 2, opposite to our 90 degrees angle is a 29 centimeter, therefore this is our hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is 29 centimeters. Next, opposite to angle theta is 20 centimeters, and the adjacent side of angle theta is 21 centimeters. Number three, as you can see in our figure in number three, we missed one measurement, or we missed the measurement of our third side. And with the help of Pythagorean theorem, since we have already the value of our hypotenuse, which is 9 square root of 2 decimeter, and the value of our opposite side, or wherein the, this opposite side is considered as our legs. So we need to look for the adjacent side. And by the help of the Pythagorean theorem, we can solve the adjacent side so that would be the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs and with this our legs are the opposite side and the adjacent side since we have the value of our hypotenuse and the opposite side we can substitute it with 9 square root of 2 for the hypotenuse and 9 for the opposite side simplifying this 9 square that would be 81 and the square of square root of 2 that would be 2 so 81 times 2 that would be 162 while 9 square is 81 so 162 minus 81 since we transpose 81 to the other side of the equation that would be 81 is equal to the square of adjacent but symmetric property of equality and then we extract square roots on both sides, we arrive with adjacent side is equals to 9 decimeter. With that, our hypotenuse again is 9 square root of 2 decimeter, opposite side is equals to 9 decimeter, and of course, our adjacent side is 9 decimeter. The six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta is equals to y, or we could say that y over 1. Recalling the figure in our unit circle or basically focusing it on our triangle, on our right triangle, y there is our opposite side, where, while 1 there is the hypotenuse. Next is cosine theta is equals to x by definition, or simply x over 1. 
x there is the adjacent side of angle theta, while 1 is our hypotenuse. Next, tangent theta is equals to y over x, where y is the opposite side and x is the adjacent side. So we can say, or with the first three trigonometric ratios, we created a mnemonic so ka towa. The remaining trigonometric ratios are just the remaining trigonometric ratios are the inverse functions of sine, cosine, and tangent, respectively. So we have here cosecant theta is equal to 1 over y. 1, remember, is our hypotenuse. And y is our opposite side. So cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Next is second theta. Second theta, by definition, is equal to 1 over x. Since our 1 is our hypotenuse and x is the adjacent, second theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. And lastly, cotangent theta is equal to x over y, where x is the adjacent and y is the opposite. In short, Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is equals to opposite over adjacent. Cosecant theta is equals to hypotenuse over opposite. Second theta is equals to hypotenuse over adjacent. And lastly, cotangent theta is equals to adjacent over opposite. If you tend to forget the six trigonometric ratios, it's very important to recall the first three by following this mnemonic. Again, so, ka, toa. Using the first letters of our first three trigonometric ratios. So, S for sine, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse. K, C for cosine, A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse. Toa, T for tangent, O for opposite, A for adjacent. And while the remaining three ratios are just the inverse function of sine, cosine, and tangent. The six trigonometric ratios can be related to the sides of a right triangle to its angles. Specifically, they are ratios of two sides of a right triangle and a related angle. Trigonometric ratios do not depend on the size of the right triangle, but on the measure of the acute angles of the right triangles. Remember, trigonometric ratios are applicable only in right triangles. I repeat, it is only applicable in right triangles. Find the six trigonometric ratios using the given reference angle. Number one. As, as you can see in our previous example, we have determined the given hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. So hypotenuse again is five inches, opposite is four inches, adjacent is three inches. Sine theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. By substitution property of equality, Opposite is equals to 4. Hypotenuse is equals to 5. So sine A, since our theta here is basically focusing on angle A, so we could just say sine A is equals to 4 over 5. And since we cannot simplify 4 over 5, that would be the final answer for sine A. Next, cosine A is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Our adjacent is 3. Our hypotenuse is 5. So, 3 over 5. Cosine A is equal to 3, 5. Or 3 over 5. Next, tangent A is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 4. Adjacent is 3. So, tangent A is equal to 4 thirds. Next, cosecant A is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Hypotenuse is 5, opposite is 4. 
So cosecant A is equal to 5 over 4. Next, secant A is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 5, adjacent is 3. So 5 over 3. Second A is equal to 5 over 3. And lastly, cotangent A is equal to adjacent over opposite. Adjacent is 3, opposite is 4. So cotangent A is 3 fourths. Number 2, hypotenus is equal to 29 centimeters, opposite is equal to 20 centimeters, adjacent is, or the adjacent side is equal to 21 centimeters. Now for our sine theta, since our reference angle or our angle theta here is placed in angle T, so we will just change theta with T. So sine T equals opposite over hypotenuse opposite is 20 hypotenuse is 29 so 20 over 29 cosine t equals adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is 21 hypotenuse is 29 cosine t is equal to 21 over 29 next tangent t equals opposite over adjacent opposite is 20 adjacent is 21 so tangent t equals 20 over 21 next cosecant t cosecant t equals hypotenuse over opposite hypotenuse is 29 opposite is 20 so 29 over 20 again cosecant t is equal to 29 over 20. Next, second t equals hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 29, adjacent is 21. Second t equals 29 over 21. Next, cotangent t equals adjacent over opposite. Since adjacent is 21 and opposite is 20, cotangent t equals 21 over 20. Remember to always reduce your answers to its lowest terms. Next, number 3. In the previous examples, we have solved our adjacent side which is 9 decimeters. So we have here hypotenuse of 9 square root of 2 decimeters. Opposite side is 9 decimeter and the just inside of our reference angle theta which is already angle E is also 9 decimeters so we will change a theta with angle E so we have here sine E is equals to opposite over hypotenuse by substitution we have here 9 over 9 square root of 2 so we can still cancel out 9 so that would be 1 over square root of 2. And by simplifying or by rationalizing our answer, we arrive with sine E equals sine E equals square root of 2 over 2. Next, cosine E equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 9 decimeter. Hypotenuse is 9 square root of 2. Simplifying this, Cosine E is also square root of 2 over 2. Next, tangent E equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 9, adjacent is 9, so 9 divided by 9, that would be 1. So our tangent E is 1. Cosecant E is equals to hypotenuse over opposite. Hypotenuse is 9 square root of 2, opposite is 9. So canceling 9, we arrive with cosecant E is equal to square root of 2. Next, second E is equal to is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 9 square root of 2. Adjacent is 9. So our second E is square root of 2. And lastly, our cotangent E is equal to adjacent over opposite since our adjacent side is 9 and our opposite side is also 9. 
9 divided by 9 that would be 1. So cotangent E is 1. And lastly, number 4. Given tangent beta is equals to 8 over 15. Since we are not given with the illustration of our right triangle, but we know that tangent beta is equals to opposite over adjacent. Thus, we could say that tangent beta equals 8 over 15. With this, we can get the value of our opposite side, which is 8 units, and the value of our adjacent side, which is 15 units. So we have already the opposite side and the adjacent side. So we need to look for our hypotenuse. Solving the hypotenuse, we will use Pythagorean theorem, wherein our legs are the opposite side and the adjacent side. So by substitution, opposite is 8, adjacent is 15. Squaring 8 and 15, you have here 64 and 225. 64 plus 225, that is 289. So after this, extracting both sides by square root, the square root of 289 is 17. So our hypotenuse is 17 units. So with that, our hypotenuse is 17 units, opposite side is 8 units, adjacent side is 15 units. So let's start getting the ratio or the six trigonometric ratios. Sine beta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 8, hypotenuse is 17. So you have here 8 over 17. Next, cosine beta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Our adjacent is 15, our hypotenuse is 17. So 15 over 17. Next, tangent beta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 8, adjacent is 15, so 8 over 15 for our tangent beta. Next is cosecant beta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Since our hypotenuse is 17, our opposite is 8 units, so your answer for cosecant beta is 17 over 8. Next. Second beta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 17, adjacent is 15, so 17 over 15. And lastly, cotangent beta is equal to adjacent over opposite. Adjacent is 15, opposite is 8, so 15 over 8.